When Benedict XVI joined Twitter, the entire world looked on. It was December 12, 2012 when Benedict XVI launched accounts in eight languages. English, French, Spanish, German, Portuguese, Polish, Italian, and Arabic. And just a few minutes after it became official, the Pope already had more than one million followers. However, there was still one account missing, an account on the Vatican's official language of Latin. The arrival of that account, called at Pontifex LN, came about a month later, on January 17, 2013. Monsignor Daniel Gallagher is the Vatican's Latinist. He tells us how and why the Pope's Latin profile was launched. We were receiving a lot of letters from teachers, people who loved Latin, saying, well, Latin is the official language of the church. Why isn't the Pope sending out tweets in Latin? And we said, very good question. Maybe we should begin. And since then, one of the most popular social networks became a type of classic language reading course. At the beginning, we thought this will be a test, uh, somewhat of a gimmick, and we said maybe we'll have 5,000 followers, nothing more than that. Um, it wasn't a goal, but it was an expectation, 5,000 followers. But the surprise came when the number of followers widely exceeded expectations, reaching 100,000 in May, only five months after its launch. The first two days we had 2,000, 3,000, and then after four weeks, 5,000, 10,000. Nobody expected us to, read, to, to reach 100,000. It was almost miraculous. The Monsignor says Twitter and Latin complement each other perfectly despite the huge generation gap between the two. He also explains why the Vatican decided on the name Sumi Pontificis Rebiloquentis for the Latin account. Uh, Cicero used a line, he said, um, uh, Breviloquentem tempus ipsum me iam faci, the time itself is forcing me to speak briefly. And so it was considered an art, a, a craft, to speak briefly in very few words. And Twitter is made for Latin and Latin is made for Twitter because in 140 characters, you have to say precisely what you want to say. You don't uh, write um, six exclamation points or four question marks. You say it very briefly. And proof of this unique chemistry are the tens of thousands of followers who every day looked forward to reading the Pope's tweets in the official language of the church.